Researchers at the University of Central Florida are now using that coronavirus data to give us a better picture of what's in store for the future. News 6's Clay Lepard breaks it all down. Students won't return to UCF's campus until at least August 8th. However, researchers with the Department of Statistics and Data Science, as well as the Department of Computer Science, continue to keep busy, even at home, releasing new data and projections for what COVID-19 could look like in the future. Right now, I think even the general population can see, looks like uh, the downtrend has already started. Department Chair Shun Pu Zhang and PhD student Dong Dong Wang make up part of the team who closely looked at epidemiological models and artificial intelligence research to see how the virus moved through society to help them determine where it could go. These projections suggest a slowdown in the daily increase of positive coronavirus cases at the end of July for Orange County and early August for Florida and the United States and show the numbers continuing to decline through the end of this year. When you look at these projections, is this good news? I feel good about it. I would say, you know, <clears throat> regardless how serious it is right now, it may look right now, every pandemic is going to end. Researchers point out their projections do not account for variables such as the NBA coming to Disney, schools reopening in August, or tourists returning to Orange County. The worst case scenario from the projections show the U.S. peaking at 12 million positive COVID-19 cases. It's only at 4.3 million right now. So we didn't really want the, this the dynamic system become more dynamic out of our control. Wang points out the projections should continue as long as people keep social distancing and taking the safety measures they are right now. If that follows, I think uh, we already see this uh, kind of the flat area. So we really hope that that could uh, um, go down and uh, finally everybody will be safer. At UCF, Clay Lepard getting results, News 6.